Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a project using the poinsettia dye. This one is the tattered poinsettia by Ranger, um, the Tim Holtz one. And I've gone ahead and I've used some of the Echo Park papers that I've had to go ahead and cut out. So when you cut out one, you end up with the bigger size, a medium and a small size one. So I'm just going to pop all these out of the different cards. So I've got about five here. Oh, sorry, it's six. So I'm going to sort it out. And it's just a matter of, I'm going to put them together with this pin in the middle. You can curl them with the back of your paper piercing tool, whatever you've got handy. So curl up each of the leaves. Hold in the middle if you've used this die because it can get quite fragile down the bottom because they're not held on by much. And then once you've done that, pierce through the centre of each. You can do them all together if you've got a piercing mat. And then grab your split pin and push through each of the layers. flatten at the back. You want to do that with all the pieces that you have. So once you've got all your flowers done, like so, okay, so I've got a few there, pop them to the side and take a foam wreath. Okay, this one is about what, eight inches in diameter I guess and I'm going to take some ribbon and I've got this old stamping up ribbon that I've had for all quite a while I'm going to use that to wrap it around so put a piece through and then grab a pin and push down through the pin to hold it in place so I'll go one way, put it at an angle on both ways and then begin wrapping the ribbon around the outside of the, the foam core like so and go all the way around the outside of it. Okay so I've gone around the wreath but I didn't go all the way around because the, cut, the flowers are going to cover that anyway and it's a kind of a bit of a waste of ribbon. Um, I used about, about two and a half meters maybe to go around and that's a, a not as wide ribbon, I guess if you had a wider ribbon you wouldn't need so much. So just to finish that off I'm going to loop one of these and just put it, pin it up here at the top and that will be what holds the ribbon when we want to hang it. I'm going to put three pins in here and angle them in just to help hold. Okay, so that's what will hang the ribbon and then down at the base I'm going to start putting in the flowers that we made. So I'm just going to hold and then get in underneath and pin it down on the, the base flower. And just overlap these at the bottom of the wreath. Now I'm also going to use some um, frosted lace stickles because I do want to put a bit of bling on this being Christmas. I'm just going to add some to the leaves and then just 
spread that out lightly with my finger. If you have um, some spritz spray, you could use that. I find this works just as well. And I'm trying to use up some of my supplies here, so this is a perfect way to not go out and purchase something I don't have, but to use up what I've actually got and look forward to going shopping again. Alright, and there we have it. A very colourful Christmassy wreath. They've been hung up on the wall. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next project.